Okay, joining us now to weigh in on this a little bit more is a former campaign advisor to President Obama and a member of that administration. He now works right here at Trinity University in San Antonio. Professor Juan Sepulveda, thanks so much for your time. It was short notice. I'm glad you could join us today. You've, you've run a campaign on this level. You know what it is like to be part of a campaign for president. This is a day that changes history. Do you think that this also has the potential now with someone, a convicted felon running for president, does it have the potential to change future campaigns? I, I, yes, it does have the potential to change future campaigns, but I think the important piece is it's gonna, it's gonna impact what's already happening. And even before the verdict came out today, former President Trump has been using uh, the legal claims that have been coming against him to campaign, to, to fundraise, to, to really kind of to, to get his supporters kind of more activated to kind of support him. And so it is this is a different game. It is historic, right, to have a former president who has now been convicted of, of 34 counts of felony. But we all know as we move into the presidential campaign piece, as we get to November, if anything, you know, I can agree with former President Trump that it's really going to come down to November the 5th. But now you're going to see how this gets used by both sides, both on the Trump side to kind of say, look at the weaponization, look at the political aspects of what's really been going on. This is a sham trial versus the Democrats are showing a former president who's now been convicted. No one is above the law. And this is what you could expect if you get another four years of Trump. And so you're going to see it in the short term. But I think it also says something about the future of presidential campaigns as well. Juan, I appreciate you, again, stepping literally outside of your classroom to do an interview with us on this. I, we have, I think I've been saying this so often since uh, Donald Trump has run for office so many times. Are we in unchartered territory? And what do you think the effect will be now uh, on the race? And is it just going to harden the sides? Because we've heard that the Trump... Uh, the Trump website has already gone down because there are so many people that want to contribute in the wake of this decision. No, I, I think that's exactly right. And I think one thing we have seen from from former President Trump is that a lot of the norms that we've had in terms of political campaigns, nothing that was legal, nothing that was set in law, it was just the way kind of business was done. Uh, he's really kind of said, I don't need to do that anymore. And so you can see in our divided, polarized country, where about half of the country has said, I agree with that, and that's the way it should be. This guy is standing up for me, he's fighting for me. And you've got the other side who's saying, this is crazy, this is chaos, this is challenging even what democracy means to be in, in the United States. And so there's no doubt that he has changed the game, right? I mean, and, and a lot of people talk a bit about this as kind of kind of a cult of personality, also kind of this notion of kind of of a populist leader. We see this in other countries as well. You're seeing it right now in the in the campaigns and the that are going on in the re-election uh, in India. We've got you no know, Mexico who's got an election on Sunday with AMLO, who's kind of had some of those kinds of kind of ways of doing business as well, too. So you, you also see it not just here in the United States, but also starting to happen in other in other countries as well. Yeah, no matter how you feel about Donald Trump, he has changed the game. Juan Sepulveda, Trinity University professor, former Obama campaign advisor. Appreciate your time on such a short notice, Juan. Thanks.